Hey everyone, today we are going to go over the difference between CMYK and RGB colors. Um, let's let me briefly just explain what the difference is between the two colors. Um, RGB colors are made with red, green, and blue light that pretty much mix together to make the colors that you see on your screen. Uh, that's a very simple way of explaining it. Um, CMYK colors, on the other hand, um, imagine having four pink buckets. Yep, uh, one full of cyan, one full of magenta, one full of yellow, one full of black. Um, you will see this here as well. I see CMYK. Um, it, for CMYK colors, just imagine you take different values of paint from each bucket and you mix it all together to create a particular color. Um, so CMYK colors is some, somewhat like painting, you know, when you put a few different, squeeze a few different tubes and mix them together to make different colors. That's exactly what CMYK is. Um, RGB, on the other hand, is just a mixture of some bright lights that, you know, put them together and you get a very bright neon color. So this is actually set into CMYK right now. Let me change this back to where I started off. Uh, there it is. Okay. So these are RGB colors. So this is what you will see in your file if you start designing in RGB. So if you look up here um, at the top left, it'll show that it is RGB. Um, never keep your files in RGB just because RGB colors, uh, they just cannot be used for um, commercial printing, you know, any, any signs that we print, any signs that another sign company is going to print for you, they're all going to be in CMYK color mode, uh, custom flags, feather flags, an air dancer, anything else. It's, it's usually always in CMYK color mode. Um, so let, let me show you the difference between the two colors now. So this currently the file is in RGB color mode. Illustrator is very easy. You go to file mode, change to CMYK, and now you see the CMYK um, equivalents of the colors that we previously saw. So you can see that these colors are not as bright. They're you don't you don't get that nice neon glow to them. Um, these are just pretty much solid colors that you know, just solid colors pretty much. Um, yeah. And then let me go back. So okay. So look at this one now. Back to RGB. Back to CMYK. So RGB, CMYK. So these colors that you see here, these are the colors that we can achieve um, from uh, on all of our custom signs. So if, if you're designing any file, you always want to be in CMYK color mode because if you provide, if you provide us, um, okay, let me go back here. So if you provide us this file and then we, let's say someone overlooks it um, and then we put this into print. Uh, when you get your actual print, it is actually going to look uh, just like that. So as you can see, what you see on your screen will not match what you see um, when you open that package. So it's very important that you do um, start designing your files in CMYK. Um, when customers provide us their files in RGB, we're actually we'll notice that we change to CMYK. We'll shoot it over to our customer and be like, "Hey, is this, is this okay? This is a kind of converted per, converted version of what you provided us." Um, a lot of other sign companies online that typically have their own design tool, they aren't they're, they're not going to waste their time to email you back. Um, if you look in their fine print to tell you, "Hey, our design tool is in RGB. Your actual colors um, are printed in CMYK, so it is not going to match." Match. Um, so what we recommend is um, just always request a proof. That way, uh, anytime before anything goes into production, those should shoot over a sample of what um, they have on their software, and that you can actually confirm and make sure the colors are correct. And other than that, what I also recommend is that you use uh, Pantone color codes, or um, they're also called PMS color codes. Um, those are just um, CMYK makes a different uh, colors. A lot of branding guidelines, everything they'll provide you with those Pantone color codes. Um, if you're working with a client, ask them for their branding guide or ask them for their Pantone color codes. And then usually those, uh, from what you see on your screen to what you see um, on the final print, it, they look fairly similar. They're going to be a little lighter, obviously, from your computer screen, just because depending on your computer's brightness or like, you know, what kind of like what settings you have on your computer screen, some colors will look brighter, some will look lighter. So it just it'll vary, but it's not going to vary as much as like you know, like from here to there. It's not going to vary that much. Okay, so let me just quickly show you how you can um, get uh, go to CMYK colors. So in Adobe Illustrator, it's very easy. You just go to uh, Window, you will go to Swatch Libraries, and then you go to Color Books, and then you want to go to Pantone Solid Coded. And then you can just type in different Pantone color codes, you know, just whatever there is. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter. You you find the colors you want to use, and you just pretty much click on them. Let's click on this, and I get this Pantone color. So use these colors. These will be better representing what you're going to get uh, when you actually receive your product. Um, let me show you this on Adobe Photoshop as well. So this is CMYK. This one is a little different. You go to Image, you go to Mode, and you go to CMYK. And again, you will see how the colors change drastically. So this is just pretty much a whole new color, if you tell me, if you ask me. But you know, 
So remember, if you are going to send us this file and or any other company, if you send them this file, they don't ask for a proof. And let's just say they don't shoot your something back, and you are going to get your actual print that looks like this. So what's uh, what's this? Um, you know, what's the moral of the story? Pretty much always use CMYK colors when you're designing, and always keep your files in CMYK color mode. Um, if you're going to design RGB, you are going to be very disappointed when you get your final product. So I knew uh, this video is supposed to be short. I rambled on again, like always. So if you have any questions, um, shoot us an email. Even if you're not buying from us, uh, we'll be more than happy to um, answer any questions, help you out. Um, just email us, and we'll be happy to help. Other than that, thank you for watching this video, and hopefully we see you as a client in the future. Thank you.